Okay, how to learn to speak fluent Chinese part two. So if you want to find intermediate learning materials that you'll, you'll find that there are actually quite a lot for people who will look for them online and also with course books. Um, so going through the text, listening and looking up new vocabulary with, with Wenlin or dim sum on your computer and then going through flashcards you'll actually find um, that your vocabulary starts to increase and that you'll generally be able to understand intermediate course texts after a while without any difficulty and when you get to that stage it's time to move on to authentic listening materials. Now I have provided a number of websites for Chinese radio and TV stations in this description to these videos um, so you will find that they speak very very clearly but very quickly so initially it will be a big shock when you find that you still can't understand much um, because you're used to hearing actual learning texts and it's a big step so I suggest once you get to this more advanced stage that you take small podcasts at first like the BBC Chinese or VOA Voice of America Chinese or little news clips on Chinese uh, news websites and listen to one section at a time pausing regularly to look up words by typing them in using pinyin to your computer dictionary. Um, when you have done this listen again a couple more times to the same audio text so that you can grasp the whole meaning much easier with the vocabulary that you've gained from it. If you go through this process with advanced um, authentic audio you'll find that over a process of few months your vocabulary will increase really quickly and you will have trained your ear to the language especially if you use the Anki flashcard software um, you'll find that the same words come up again and again and you'll be looking up fewer and fewer words so um, as you get better you can challenge yourself by listening to a, a wider range of materials and then you'll gradually find that you can understand at least about 75% of the audio and then you can just casually look up um, more words to increase your understanding but don't beat yourself up about words or things that you can't understand and some people will speak very unclearly so don't judge yourself too harshly or by your mistakes or things that you can't understand and you'll find that you progress very rapidly um, so just carrying on with advanced listening materials and increasing your vocabulary will increase your listening ability. Now I've talked about listening and getting that up to an advanced level but obviously there's speaking which I haven't really talked about much up until now and other than the initial foundational courses the FSI and the PIMSLA um, obviously that will give you a basic ability to function in the language but um, in terms of improving your speaking obviously with so much intensive listening especially if you repeat things back and you will learn some as you listen and pick up a lot of colloquial phrases but it is a different matter to go from the passive level of okay speaking and really good listening ability to actively being able to speak fluently and confidently in Chinese so how do you get to that stage where you can express yourself um, confidently and naturally in Chinese. Um, okay, well let me tell you, um, after the FSI and PIMSLA have drilled the basics into you, you'll be confident in simple situations, but in order to raise it up a level you need to continue actively thinking in that language. Um, so of course you can't just think in Chinese automatically and you really have to push yourself and persist with it. Um, so my approach, what I do is whenever I have conversations in English, which is my native language, um, after I've said something I'll think, how do I say that in Chinese? If I don't know or I'm unsure of a word or a phrase, I'll check a dictionary. Um, after I say or hear um, every life, everyday life phrases in English, um, I'll think through how to say them in Chinese. Uh, when a group of friends or somebody is talking, I'll also think, be thinking, how do I say that in Chinese? Um, if I come across a difficult phrase or something that I don't know, um, I'll maybe write it down and look it up later. Um, when you get better, 
at thinking through things in Chinese, you can even get to the stage where you're watching, for example, a TV show, like a chat show or an interview, not news or something difficult like that, but um, maybe a documentary and you'll be thinking through as they're saying things, how do you say this in Chinese? Thinking through um, and using an active approach to practice um, getting used to thinking in that language and being able to express yourself in Chinese. Um, so every day think through conversations you've had that day. Can you express yourself in Chinese? Can you say what you said then in Chinese? Um, for example, look around the room, look around you. Can you say all the names of the objects in the room in Chinese? Um, can you describe your experience that day in a monologue in Chinese? If you get used to doing activities like this, you'll find that um, through act actively going and looking up words, um, you will find that you learn incredibly quickly. And using this active approach, it actually gets you into the mindset of thinking in Chinese and being able to express yourself more naturally in Chinese. Um, nobody's going to be able to hear the trial and error process. Um, so there's no embarrassment for you. So as you get used to it, it will become quicker and more natural and you'll be able to start thinking through words in Chinese and English as well as you say them. Um, at this point, it would also be helpful to have conversation with native speakers as and when you can find them um, so they will be able to uh, correct mistakes you have and to guide you uh, along your way so you can hone your speaking skills and along with the continued listening if you do that that will make your speech more natural and help you to correct bad habits um, so if you are doing this method as I say learning thinking through what you're saying in Chinese. So like even now as I speak, I'm thinking through how can I say this in Chinese? Um, obviously to look up things, you'll need a decent dictionary with a lot of examples and explains things. Um, so for beginners, I recommend the Oxford Chinese Starter Dictionary, um, which explains things very clearly and has pinyin. But it's quite a basic dictionary. So after quite quickly, you'll find that the words or phrases that you're looking up aren't in there. So I would recommend um, for the more advanced stage, the Oxford Advanced Learners English Chinese Dictionary, which there's also an electronic version of. Um, it doesn't have pronunciation for the characters, so I recommend that you use the electronic version so you can copy and paste the entries into the, the Wenlin or the dim sum dictionary software that I talked about and that will give you pr the pronunciation of everything. Um, if you have a string of Chinese characters you can also copy and paste into Google Translate and there's a function on there to that will give you um, if you click phonetic pronunciation it will give you the pinyin and it will also pronounce it for you. Also if you're looking up phrases in English, you can go to the website jucor.com. Uh, I'll put that in the description as well, where you can type in some English keywords and then it will give you loads of example sentences with those words. So that's a really good useful resource for knowing beyond dictionary examples how to use a word naturally in Chinese or to how to put an English phrase uh, authentically in Chinese. If you come across phrases that you don't know um, English phrases and you don't know how to say them in Chinese and they're not in the dictionary examples or in this kind of database then I guess you just have to ask native speakers about that. Um, if you are persistent and you don't agonize or get put off by your mistakes you really can learn to speak and understand Chinese to a very high standard. If you get used to this interpretation method and you're learning yourself you'll get more natural and through a lot of practice with native speakers, um, you're going to improve incredibly quickly. And you're listening, and if you're doing reading and writing practice, that will all contribute to your um, to your improvement in Chinese. So I'm sure people are going to have a lot of questions about this, and but I just want to say um, I'll try to answer people's questions if they come up. Um, but if you are trying to learn Chinese by yourself then the best of luck to you. I hope that you enjoy it as much as I have. Um, I'm sure you're going to get a lot out of it, especially if you 
get into the culture and travel around. Um, okay, so that's it for this video. I hope to make a video about reading and writing Chinese soon and how to go about approaching learning that. Okay, that's it for now.